cleaned out the shop. Now I got this side about done. Granted, it still looks like there's a lot of crap there, but you literally could not see the shelves. There was just crap piled like to, to here. You couldn't even see any of that. So it's cleaned out. It took a dump trailer and a half. Um, and then I filled the other half of the dump trailer over here. Like, does anybody need a bandsaw? I'll make you a heck of a deal on it. It works just fine. It's just, we got a, we got a bigger one and that, that just doesn't get used. So make somebody a steal of a deal on a bandsaw. And I am like 11% sure that it works. So it worked when it was parked. All right. Let's see how much of this crap I can get rid of. Starter's got a bad spot. There we go. Does anybody need half an old sprayer boom? It comes with the hoses. I'm not really sure why all this stuff was ever piled here in the first place, but we're getting rid of it. If you don't have a pair of grapple forks, you're missing out. These are the greatest things since sliced bread. Just make things really handy because I haven't had to get out of the tractor once to load any of this stuff yet. So, well, all was going well. So I did that. It's a little sloppy out here. I think it'll back out. Just wanted to check and see how deep that was before I started really trying to fight it to get out. Maybe better off just hooking a chain to it than dragging it out. We'll see. About to find out. I think if I put my bucket down, I can pick the front end up a little bit. It ought to back out. Yeah, that'll work. Use the bucket to push me back. It's a good thing I got concrete there, or I would be very stuck. Let's see here. Now, this is a problem. There we go. Just had to ride the brake. Free dishwasher. It's a good home. I'm pretty sure it comes with some dishes included in it. I'll take like, you get it off my hands or best offer, whichever. Back at the dump again. I think this makes like load eight, load nine, something like that. I was sitting here going crazy, picking this stuff up, throwing it in, and I just saw something moving. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but that white tail right there, that little fuzz, that's a skunk right there. And I really don't know if I shoot it, if it's gonna spray or not, and I really don't wanna shoot it on concrete, but I really, I, I, I don't know how to go about doing this. What I did just figure out is that this gun's not loaded because I pulled the hammer back and it just went click. Helps to have ammo. Well, the skunk's dead, but the shop does not smell very pleasant now. Apparently when you shoot a skunk, it does spray when it dies. So word to the wise. That is one dead Pepe Le Pew. But it's one smelly Pepe Le Pew. And I don't know where to take it that's not downwind of the house right now. This was a bad idea. Yeah. I think I'll go get a shower now. Here's a before. I just gotta take a few pictures of it, a few videos of it, because it's gonna look totally different when I get done. Or it better. Making progress. And there's a the post there. It's getting tight in here. It still smells really, really bad in here though. That skunk was a bad idea. But the more stuff I get out of here, the less habitat for varmints there are. 
They've got some pretty cool toys at this dump. I wish I had cool toys like this. I'd like to have that D6 with a tile pile on the back. That's what I'd like to have. That was fast. Dump trailers make life very, very easy. Lunch time. Let's see what I got today. It's one of those cows that's been converted into meat and cheese and goodness. Got the grapple off. I'm gonna put the bucket on now. Got a load of gravel this morning and that's gonna go in the shop. And then I need to get another load of gravel and spread it around out here because it gets really sloppy right about there and the semi doesn't quite like it. All right, it latched itself. Don't even have to get out of the cab to hook up. All right, moving all the tractors, moving all the equipment out of here. I'm gonna pull the feed grinder out, pull the planter out. And I'm gonna scrape all this dirt out of here and put gravel in. Just look at all that shelf space. Kept some nuts and bolts. Never know when you might need them. Probably shouldn't have kept as many as what I did, but cleaned out this. There's a few parts that I left in there for equipment we do still have, but the majority of it we don't. I cleaned out a little bit up there, mostly just tarps and odd and stuff up there. Organized the weights, um, set them over here, hitches, weights, stuff like that. Got the ladders out of the way. Now I'm gonna move those two oil barrels back up against the wall and at the dump again. Hopefully this is the last load of junk. Everything else I'm just going to scrap. I've got a bunch of metal that I'd like to get rid of. It's just odding in little pieces that aren't really worth keeping. Uh, the bigger scrap metal I keep, you never know what you'll weld up, what you'll patch up, some kind of wintertime project, but the little odding in stuff I'm getting rid of. I'm also impressed that the auger didn't roll over going through there. Just soft enough that went right through it. It's probably going to help to have the hitch for the other auger. Well, I've got this thing set as deep as it can go. And I even had to hang tracker weights on it, trying to get it to go in the ground. This stuff's packed like concrete, but I am bringing up some old gravel and I'm cutting this down just enough that I'm not going to lose any height when I put my new gravel in. So it's making a mess out of it right now, but I'll come in here with a skid steer and line it all back out. So that pile of dirt is what I've pulled out of the shop so far. It only skimmed about six inches off the top, but you'll be amazed at what six inches will do. Started spreading gravel. It's gonna be really nice to uh, get in here with a skid steer instead of this, but the bucket on this is a lot bigger, so I'm getting the bulk of it in here with the tractor, and then I'll kinda move it around and grade it with a skid steer, because it's a lot easier to move around in there. When I get done with that, I think I'm going to run a garden hose in there and kind of rinse it all down, wash some dust out, and then I'm going to take the yard roller and pack it all real good inside there. So, I don't know, trying to get poor man's concrete, I guess. Well, not to be that guy, but I'm going to do a cold start. Yep, she's cold. So I got the gravel spread fairly evenly in here. I'm gonna do some work with a shovel to tidy up the edges, but I think it's ready to start packing. Hopefully it stays packed with the lime that's in it. I may have to wet it down every now and then, but it'll definitely keep down on the dust over, well, having just dust in here. This is so much better. 
once it dries out a little bit it'll lighten up but till then pretty satisfied with it uh, need to get some of it packed down but other than that it's a lot better than the dust that was in here taking the box blade back made the driveways look nice and pretty got all that done I'm gonna take this thing back and I'm gonna eat lunch because it is 3.56 and I have not ate yet. Been busy today. Just restocked the shop with some cheap tools. That was a long receipt and unfortunately it wasn't very cheap. Rolling. Packing her down. It's actually packing really good in here. Look at those beautiful lines. Well, you can't really tell, but that's some RTK level precision. I'm just over here freehanding it. This driveway here, I bladed and bladed and bladed, and it's worked out pretty good. That one turned out really good. I brought a lot of gravel back up. But you can see right there all that concrete I about ate the steering wheel with a box blade when I hit that stuff. I'm going to have to come out here and pick all the concrete up by hand. Then I'm just going to back blade it with a skid steer or something. My gravel pile is completely gone though, so I need to call and get another load of that. Um, I got my fuel tank the other day. I moved it with a skid steer and chain. Uh, i got to build that up beside the other fuel tank a little bit. I'm gonna throw some dirt in and kind of level that up so I can set that second tank right beside it. And then I need to wire that up so it all works. You can never build a shed too big. Tornado took this shed out. It's been probably five years ago. And uh, the old shed was half this size. So when this one got built, figured may as well go twice as big it's still not big enough cleaning up scrap all that's metal back there cleaning off the metal rack most of that stuff's bent or just paper thin tin just junk so I'm keeping all the good stuff all the good piping all the good tubing uh, a buddy of mine went through a bunch of it last night he's a really good welder and fabricator so he was telling me what's worth keeping and what's not. So, got a few riders today. Got that one and that one. Don't discriminate around here. We've got all colors of dogs. That's one heck of a magnet. It's pretty impressive. Big old thing. So I'm going to cut this video a little bit short and split it into two videos. Um, the shoop man has arrived from stuff I ordered from the farm show. So the Kinsey planter is completely tore down right now and being rebuilt basically down to the frame. Um, however, a little bit of a change of plans, I'm getting ready to leave to go look at another Kinsey planter. Um, so I'll have that in another video of the rebuild process and, uh, going to look at this new planter as well. So maybe some new iron coming to the farm. Not sure yet, but uh, it's a possibility. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to uh, comment, rate, subscribe. So I'm going to go try and hunt down my checkbook, and then I'm going to take off to Kentucky, and I'm going to go look at a planter. So again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for the next one.